I started growing weed and I started selling weed and I, I can remember in, in, in high school, I, I make like $220 a day just going to school and selling bags of weed. Derek Nakata of Honolulu, Hawaii started smoking marijuana in the sixth grade. By the time he was in high school, he had turned his recreational drug use into a profitable business. In his 20s, he realized he could make even more money distributing cocaine. The pearl surfers that were coming from Brazil, Peru, all those guys, they were bringing in coke, and I would supply all the nightclubs with coke. I'd drive in uh, twice a night selling uh, ounces of coke, maybe, maybe eight ounces in, in one night. I, I was making about 35000 a week just selling coke. Derek soon became dependent on the very drug he was selling. That's when I realized that I wasn't in control. When I started using my product and when I started actually smoking coke, all the money I had made, I, I just started just spending it all on, on drugs. But the drug was controlling me. Eventually, he dropped his crack addiction for heroin. I, I could see the desperation uh, that I was going through because of this drug. Every waking moment, uh, you're thinking, um, who to call, how can I get it, where can I get it from. I felt there was a little darkness in my soul. Like, like I was not the same person I was because I would do any means to get money to support my heroin habit. When he tried to stop using, Derek felt powerless. I remember telling myself, it'd be better if I just died. It'd be a lot easier if I just died because the pain was so great, it, it, I, you couldn't sleep, I, I, I was throwing up, uh, my eyes were tearing, I, I, it was just, I, I was just suffering. And I thought if I died, that would be a lot easier. Desperate to be free from heroin, Derek tried something he'd never done before. He prayed to the only one he believed could help. I just cried out to God and I said, God, if, and if you, if you could break, break my chain of addiction, uh, I'll serve you the rest of my life. I, I don't know what that meant. I didn't have a rel relationship with God, but, but I, I was pleading with God that I was making a deal. Hey, if you could take this away, man, I, I, I'd, be, I'd be, you know, I would, I would serve you the rest of my life. The beginning of the answer to his prayer came three days later, when he was arrested while buying heroin. Derek spent the next two months in jail. I uh, detoxed me. They gave me a, a medication to take a little bit of the, the withdrawals, but you still, you still have effects, but it's not as bad. When he was released, Derek was broke, homeless, and living in a park in Hawaii. A local pastor who often brought food to the homeless told Derek about the love of Jesus. I remember one day that the pastor didn't bring food this is when God came so real to me. I, I cried out to God. I said, God, if you're real, bring us some food. And, and, and lo and behold, 10 minutes after that, this, this couple was walking towards us with foil pans. I didn't know what it was. So five of us sitting there, and then this, this uh, young lady and, 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 and this uh, guy said, hey, we just got married. And we had all this extra food. And we thought we'd bring it to you guys. And, and that's when I thought, oh, wow, God, God, you're real. I mean, I, I had no doubt right there. God, you answered me. And um, that's when my relationship with him became real. Derek gave his life to Jesus. He soon realized that God had answered all of his prayers and it was early morning, and you had to take down your tent because the police said, hey, you can sleep here, but take down your tent in the morning. And I remember it was, it was, it, it was sun just rising. I, I, I stepped out, the birds were chirping. Life was just beginning. The sun was coming up, and I realized I didn't have to, I didn't have to hustle to get well anymore because God had made me well. He broke in my chains, and that's when I realized God kept his promise, and he, 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 he delivered me from bondage to my addiction. And that's when I realized, okay, God, I'll, I'll, I'll serve you.
He began ministering to the homeless community in Hawaii with a pastor and was eventually asked to join the church staff. He says he's thankful that the Lord heard his prayer and changed his life. He's a God of restoration. He's a God of redemption. He's a God that wants you to have a relationship with him. I never felt so much satisfaction in my soul that, you know, it's, it's, it's so rewarding in my soul. Once you have experienced, uh, experienced the hand of God and, 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 and be touched by Him, it's just something you can't explain. It's amazing. Uh, God is amazing.